if you ask anything with respect to our bigger picture programme or sustainability programme at Sky, people will still say, and our employees will still say, that we are a carbon neutral organisation and are very proud of that. And, um, and it's not just our own employees, it's also our suppliers. We're a leading European entertainment company um, within the UK, Germany and Italy. It's important to be carbon neutral because it's a leadership position, it's a statement of the fact that climate change issues and being responsible as a business in terms of reducing your carbon emissions as far as you can is part and parcel of being a responsible business. That We engage our employees as an organisation around um, our leadership around climate change issues and also help our consumers understand the importance of taking action on climate change. We built the business case around um, carbon offsetting in Sky because we had a look um, at us as an organisation to understand in the next five to ten years how are our carbon emissions going to increase as an organisation and how can we realistically reduce those emissions. And from that we could identify what projects we needed to put in place, what technology we needed to put in place and what renewable energy we needed on site and how much that was going to cost us as an organisation. And then we had a look at if we wanted to go further than just reducing our own carbon emissions, what kind of budgets, what kind of reductions did we need to make to become carbon neutral? So in addition to having uh, a budget internally for um, looking at energy efficiency measures and on-site renewables, we also put together at the same time a budget around carbon neutrality and ensured that at the same time as investment internally, we could invest externally to become carbon neutral. It aligns with our business goals um, with respect to how we are a, a responsible business as an organisation. As part of being a responsible business, we have a very strong environment strategy, and that environment strategy is to reduce our carbon emissions by 50% by 2020. Obviously, as you continue to be carbon neutral, you are always going to have challenges with respect to how you spend your budget, how do you spend your money, and whether it's worth spending your money you know and focusing on the internal reductions that you can do as an organization or whether you spend it externally with respect to offset but to me they come hand in hand you can't you can't reduce your emissions totally and you have to keep that carbon offsetting part of your strategy When you offset, you learn much more about your own company and what your carbon footprint is as an organisation. Um, you measure your carbon footprint, you then have to reduce your carbon emissions before you offset because not many offset providers would work with an organisation that couldn't show that. And then you look at offset projects that would engage your employees further in your environment strategy and choose those projects to communicate and, and engage them in a very and in a very engaging way um, around environmental issues and the importance to reduce carbon emissions. The biggest benefit I would say with respect to offsetting is the, um, the, the kind of statement that it gives internally, the credibility of the environment strategy and the environment aspirations that we have as an organisation. It goes that one step more than just reducing your own emissions and having your own environment targets. It's a real leadership statement. And this is really clear in how our employees have engaged with our carbon neutral programme. Um, if you ask anything with respect to our bigger picture programme or our sustainability programme at Sky, people will still say, and our employees will still say, that we are a carbon neutral organisation and are very proud of that. And, um, and it's not just our own employees, it's also our suppliers. Feedback from our staff of the programme has been one of um, proud, they're proud. They're very proud that they work for an organisation like Sky that is carbon neutral, that is being a leader in this field and is making a statement around what other organisations should do. Yes, I would definitely encourage other companies to embrace offsetting, but off do offsetting in the right way. They're, you know, there is a very 
what is good around how we've worked with our offsetting providers over the year is to really understand that there is a process. You can't just offset, it's part of a journey and it's a continuous journey. And we've been on that journey for a long time, over the last 10 years. In addition to reducing our own carbon emissions as an organisation, we want to um, look at how we can help others reduce their carbon emissions elsewhere, elsewhere in the world. And we do that through our Carbon Neutral Programme. We work with a number of suppliers that have followed our lead and have become carbon neutral as a result of it. Um, and they always come up with new ideas as well to help you know, um, sort of reduce the carbon emissions through the work that we do with our suppliers. Um, Commercial Group are an organisation that we work with um, internally for all of our merchandise that we buy internally and, and they're carbon neutral and they come up with so many different ideas of how to reduce our emissions further each year about hydrogen vans or different ways of, of, you know, of um, distributing uh, our equipment. I think the next stage of our carbon offsetting journey is, is um, the move from it just being about carbon and just being about reducing carbon emissions to linking it to community improvements, to the social aspects of the projects that we're now seeing um, and um, bringing the kind of more of a, um, a, holistic, more of a holistic um, story and piece um, to the process. So it's not just about producing, a, um, reducing your carbon emissions, having a price for carbon. There's much more warmth and much more engaging kind of um, aspect to it. <laughs>